Right folks, new stator has arrived. Um, RM stator. I bought, bought it from a company called uh, Moto Electrical. They've got their own site, but if you go on eBay, uh, everything's a little bit cheaper. Uh, I think if you ring them up and, and tell them that, they'll honour it anyway. But that's my new stator. Some dielectric grease, nice little keyring. Um, connections if you've not got them. Uh, so I'm going to go out and fit that in there. Right, what I need to do, um, have all that covered up so no shit dust or anything like that's flown up into my engine while I've been waiting for my new uh, stator to come. I need to make sure that all these surfaces are absolutely clean, free of gasket. Um, you can't use anything hard, so I'm going to use one of these little kitchen sponges. Uh, I'm going to give that a clean. I'm just going to put something over that so no little bits drop in. Um, but yeah, if, the, if there's any trace of old gasket on these engine surfaces, um, your new gasket's not going to seal properly. Right, what I'm going to be doing now is uh, my new stator, which you can see, nice and shiny. I'm going to be fitting that, not just a comparison. That's my old one. Um, same connections as well. Exactly the same. Um, so I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to be fitting my new stator into um, my brand new shiny shiny engine cover, alternator cover. I bought from Triumph. So I'll just you just have to bear with me. I'll go through this step by step and show you what you need to do. I'm going to um, take out all the bolts in the old one, little cover, a couple of little nuts here that hold the pickup coil on. Um, taking all them out, obviously I'll be using them in in my new one. So um, just sit tight. Right, so you can see it's a bit fiddly. Um, this cover, I've got my wires going all the way down to my stator, behind that cover there, all the way down into there. Um, I've got this cover on, again a little tiny bit of thread lock, uh, four mil bolt, put that up. Nail that up, but not too tight. Move that grommet. It fits in there. That's it. Right, so now I've just got to um, adjust my stator so that the holes uh, line up there's three bolts just fit a little bit of blue thread lock again nip it up make sure my threads are clean You don't cross thread. Resistance there, so that's obviously not in there.
There we go. Easy job. Right, I need to go and fit this to my bike now. But I'm just going to give this a quick wipe and make sure this surface is clean. Actually, one thing well I remember, this is a peg out of my old stator cover that needs to, needs to go in that hole there. Helps it all line up on your engine. There's another one there, but that's that's still in me, still in my engine. So hopefully you should be able to see now, look. Just before I fit it, don't worry about this bit sticking out. This will obviously squash down when you fit it against your bike. Everything's in place. Everything's nice and clean. All this lining tucked away. All nicely tightened up. All them wires hidden. Right, so what I've got now is everything I need to get it back on, my little uh, crush washer, my Triumph gasket, a bit of dielectric grease there that I'm going to put on my connectors and my sockets and everything, and of course my new stator sat ready in its engine case. Uh, first job is a new gasket, pop that on there, make sure it's all lined up, there little pegs that I told you about. Um, it helps everything line up uh, and now I'm going to uh, pop my alternator cover back on and um, what you find is as you put it on because of the magnets inside the stator they start pulling on your rotor and like pull it out your hands so you need to be quite firm so let's see if I get my camera no that's not going to work um, I'm going to pop this on uh, and come back to you in a minute. Okay, right, that's on. Trap my fingers as I did it. Like I say, as you as you get right onto it, it it, it pulls it on like that magnet. So just watch your fingers. Um, that's all on this one here. That's where your copper washer goes. Um, so I'll get that out and put that first bolt on. Okay, so what I've done is I've put all my bolts in. Um, only finger tight. What I need to do now, obviously, tighten them all up. Um, we do this in a in like a crisscross uh, pattern, so you kind of get even distribution across your gasket. I'll work around them all. That's my crush washer there. So you get even spread of pressure across your gasket. Right, so that's them all nipped up. What I need to do now, fasten my connections. I just need to push this through um, into me uh, engine compartment. Try and do that. Hold it camera. Uh, put a bit of dielectric grease in them both uh, and connect them up. So I'll just put camera down. Right, so that connector with that one, obviously, uh, and this one fed through. There, we'll connect into uh, that one. So I just need to add a bit of grease. So, included with my new stator from Moto Electrical, the European distributor for RM Stator, which is Canadian, a little packet of uh, dielectric grease. Put that on your uh, electrical connections. I think it keeps it all waterproof, but. Uh, um, allows for a good connection, so that's quite handy. Right, so, one, that's that one. You need a click, it should click in. Right on the side. A bit difficult again to do one handed. Oops, got my frame. There you go, look. All nice to fill up with grease. Uh, Job I can do what I did. It says that's it, that's that. Now that's that all connected up. All I need to do now is uh, put everything back on. Right, last piece of puzzle in this order front sprocket cover needs to go on first. I'll have to put camera down all these pipes. Um, I need to make sure they go inside. You see that slot there, I mean, front sprocket cover, I don't want them to get caught on your sprocket there. Two hander job, so that goes on first. Then, gear selector rod goes on. 
and last last job will be obviously the eel plate and that'll be everything buttoned up on this side just be a case of putting my tank back down uh, and standing back and admiring it so if you can remember uh, one bolt at the top two bolts at the bottom just nip them up make sure all your wires and breathers there's a couple and a wire that go on top of there and again they all they're all sitting nicely inside that that slot you don't want uh, anything catching on your sprocket okay next job now is uh, gear selector rod don't want to lose that little pin that through start to scratch your frame don't connect that end up yet um, you want this end on make sure you line it up with that little remember on the end of the shaft there's a little hole a little dot to line that up it's not quite there but let's have a little ball out so you know that that's where your gear lever was before you started messing. Zoom in. There's a little, I don't know if you can see it, a little punch mark on the end there, look. And that shows you where to put your gear selector, it should line up with that, uh, that split. Put your bolt back in. bit now should just pop on there should do if you'd like it's hard work trying to do this while you're holding a camera clip in and your little clip this holds it all in place so just underneath there's a little tiny hole which you just slot in push all the way through Round, that's it that's now all back where it was uh, last job uh, eel plate this cake two bolts and put a little tiny bit of thread lock on them I don't want them rattling off and uh, losing meal plate there you go look I'm gonna put a tiny bit on I don't want them to stay in place forever it's a medium strength stuff as well no in my look I'll have to I have to undo all this and do it all again next week. Um, but now for the eel plate. Last piece of puzzle. So this is all buttoned up now. Um, I'm still waiting for my reg wreck. It should sit there. That's coming from roadstocycle.com. In America, I ordered it last week. It's already in this country. Uh, it's stuck in customs, apparently. Um, not quite sure what that means. Probably it's going to cost me more money. But anyway, that's that's everything. Um, obviously, when you put your tank down, just make sure none of these wires are going to catch. Um, take off me handy piece of skirting. I need to fasten me the two bolts there just be careful when you bring your tank down you don't want to uh, that bracket catching your headstock and damaging finish on your frame what I'm going to do is once I've got my uh, reg reg fitted um, obviously reconnect my battery start it up should hopefully get in 14.2 14.3 volts steady um, I'll take it out for a bit of a blast I'll come back just check that I've got no oil leaks from my gasket. I've just nipped it all up again, not too tight. I think spec uh, your torques for tightening these bolts up will be in your Ains manual um, or your, your user manual that you get with your bike. But like I said, I just want to check that none of this um, is leaking. 
um, and, and and again just check it's all all fine. I forgot to mention folks, really important, um, obviously before you do take it for a blast, uh, a little bit of oil when you take this cover off to begin with comes out, doesn't it? Just make sure your levels are okay, um, because I've done this job twice now, obviously a little bit more oil's come out than, than should, so I'll need to check my levels.